All the horsepower in the world doesn't mean anything if you can't connect it to the transmission. And when it comes to manual transmissions, one of the most respected names is Center Force Clutches. I'm here with Will Beatty. Tell me, what is new for 2009? 2009, we have your new Camaros, Mustangs, Dodge Vipers, uh, gosh, you name it, CTSV, and all the sport compact market. We, we pretty much have everything on the market right now, up to date. Now, I know that Center Force has long been known for having a very light pedal pressure, but a whole lot of clamp at the clutch. How do you guys do that? We do that with our patented ball bearing technology. If you can see right here in the clutch itself, what we use is a ball bearing internally, and we can change the internal friction of this clutch itself, reducing the internal friction, giving us a lighter pedal, so we can change that pivot point and give us a lot of clamp load with a soft pedal. There's also a lot of talk about the weight of the flywheel, the clutch, all this stuff. How important is that to performance? It's, it's very important uh, to performance. You know, lighter weight assembly obviously will rev, rev faster and make the car feel lighter. But in, in essence, taking off, it actually can be a detriment to, to clutches itself. Well, we're about to start construction on a late model Mustang, and we're not sure if we're going to be supercharged or naturally aspirated. What does Center Force clutches have for these late model Mustangs? We have a full gamut of clutches for that light metal, DFX, dual friction, Center Force 1, Center Force 2, aluminum flywheel, steel flywheel, anything you want for that, we have. Now, if we supercharge this car, is there a difference in the clutch setup that you'd recommend versus a naturally aspirated engine? Depending on overall gear ratio, what the overall intended use of that vehicle is, yes, with DFX, the dual friction would be right where you want to be. I imagine the dual friction has more surface area that would allow more clamping to get that power transferred. Oh, definitely. You can really up the power. On about 600 horsepower is what we'll hold with the dual friction, and, and with the DFX, we'll hold about 1,000 horsepower. Well, that's awesome. There you have it. Center Force Clutches, connecting high-performance engines to manual transmissions for over 25 years.